Hey guys, welcome back to the Snapper and Chronicles. Today we're back at you with another tool video. Uh, not a ratchet, but something, I guess, uh, in the ratchet style family. This is a breaker bar, and this is a Quinn, and this is the extendable breaker bar uh, from Harbor Freight Quinn. And here it is this is item number f five eight six two seven uh, but before we jump into this if you can do me a big favor and hit the like and also subscribe to this channel if you find any of these videos at all helpful or maybe even entertaining okay so i went to uh harbor freight which as you know is one of my favorite stores and um they're doing coupons again this week uh i guess they have like a weird schedule with the sales and the the black friday the christmas and all that so but this week that i think for like mm, 10 or 12 days they're doing some coupons and one of the coupons was this quinn extendable breaker bar and usually this sells for 29.99 99 $30 and with the coupon I think it's good until the 11th of December you can pick this up for $20 so you get $10 off which is pretty good on a $30 purchase to have $10 off and you pay 20 uh, that's uh, a good chunk of uh, the price and these these are sold under different names uh, by different companies identical probably from the same assembly line uh from uh different retailers they usually go for like around 30 30 to 35 dollars uh i think caddis maximus had a video on one of these maybe uh actually the quinn three eighths extendable and another one by i think i'm not sure it's like a auto parts store brand he, uh, but it was identical to this one that one was half inch and this one's half inch and here some of the writing swivel 180 degree chrome plated extends from 16 to 24 and 3 quarters for extra leverage torque for extra torque and leverage and on the back you're gonna see uh, where it's made you see there here on the bottom it says made in Taiwan so it's made in Taiwan so I guess <clears throat> not too bad <clears throat> and uh, it has this collet here that you press down and it's spring loaded but not crazy spring loaded that's about the extent of the spring loading if you're holding it up that's about how far it's gonna jump uh, has this uh band here like rubber uh i don't know what this for uh it doesn't when you close it it doesn't like cushion it doesn't reach far down to where it cushions anything so i'm not sure what that seal there is for but it's rubber and you can take it off <coughs> like that and then just some a uh, little indentation uh, that goes around and I f don't know what the idea is but they put this rubber there to protect something I don't know what uh, and it extends and that's how it extends you're probably not going to see it all on camera <laughs> but it goes from that length to to pretty much all of that length so from 16 to 24 inches or 24 and 3 quarters let me remove the cap and uh yeah let's just get down to business on this um uh, it's a pretty 
decent heft to it. It's pretty uh, good weight. Uh, but to take this apart, right, when you pull down on this before it uh, clicks into any of the, the detents here, and actually I should go, there's the, there's the one spot to where it rests at 16 inches. And then there's one, two, three, four, five, five. So after you open it, there's five other positions that it opens to. And it has this little ring here little metal ring compression ring that uh, sits in the channel and pretty much with your finger you can just slide that ring off it's pretty small the ring it's pretty thin I'm kind of surprised it's that small and that thin but okay that's what we got okay so now you just let off Okay, you let, I guess it has to be in one of the positions, the indents, and it'll slip off, but be careful because there's a ball bearing that fits in those detents and you don't want it to go flying, and there's also another ball bearing on the side here, you're going to see, okay, there's the ball bearing, there's a spring here. And here's the other ball bearing that sticks on the side there. So <clears throat> here's a look at what that ball bearing looks like. And you pull this off, and there's a spring here. I guess that you, if you want to, you can pull that off. That's the spring loading of the of the collet the spring of the shaft it's on the bottom of uh, the tube here the pipe okay and this ball bearing I guess can come out also it's a little bit smaller than this one over here so I guess uh, you'll be able to tell them apart and then you just slide to almost the end and then you're gonna see this pin in the hole here and then you just line up the hole so the pin just line them up there and then hopefully the pin will drop out I guess you gotta line it up perfect Hmm, that's weird. I didn't have that much trouble <laughs> when I first took it out. Let me, uh, <clears throat> let me try with a magnet and see if that helps. Nope, that's not helping. There we go. So here's the pesky pin that was causing all that problem. And that allows us to pull it out all the way. Okay. Now you can take your spring off and your collet and your little tiny retention ring or small retention ring there and this is what the shaft looks like 
it has the hole for the pin here that goes all the way through <coughs> and this is the hole where the ball bearing that smaller ball bearing set in and also that's the hole that you take the pin out of and here's a look at the pipe in there is a spring I don't I didn't try to take it out it looks like it's pretty wedged in there but oh, let me see if you'll be able to see it uh, if I can find the flashlight Mm. No, it's not gonna focus down there, but it's uh, you can, there is a spring down there, and this is the pipe, and it looks like it was welded here. Like this small section was welded onto this section, and it has on the end a cap, and. I tried it by hand and it's not screwing off so I'm not sure if it's pressed on or if it's a screw cap this is the knurling it feels pretty grippy but it's more like lines than knurling as you can see there it's more lines than anything and the pipe seems pretty de decent weight it looks pretty heavy uh, it uh, seems okay in thickness. Here's the collet. Uh, looks pretty good. Knurling, I would say, is more lines. It's even more lines than on the handle. This is pretty flat. This, uh, we'll call it knurling. But on the cap, all the way around, it says has arrows and pull all the way around and for you guys who have to see everything torn down we're gonna tear down the anvil and see what's in there Okay, here's the pin that holds the anvil. It's pretty thick. It's a five millimeter, uh, five millimeter bit there. It's a hex bit. <coughs> Here is the anvil. The ball detent looks pretty well centered. And it rides on a ball bearing, has an indent on the bottom to keep it uh, pointed straight. Here's the ball bearing on the bottom. That's what that looks like. Uh, might want to keep that separated from the other ball bearings. Put that there. Here's the fork. There is a spring for the ball bearing in the fork. This is what the spring looks like. It's a pretty heavy duty spring. And this is for the head of the pin and the threads of the pin of the bolt uh, okay so let's put this back let's take your ball drop that back on the spring <clears throat> take your anvil drop that on the ball push it push the anvil down a little bit and screw that in
There we go. And that's that. You can see how that works. And it snaps into place in the detent. Okay, to get this all back together, ooh, uh, take your little pin, your, I mean your little ring, put that back on first, and on this side, I guess you put your spring, put your spring on there. Take your, your collet and make sure it's the, the knurling's facing towards the swivel. Get that on. And make sure that your detents on the shaft are, are you put it on with the hole here the big hole for the detents. And now will be a good time to take your pin, drop that in the hole there, and now I would line up one of the holes with one of the detents and Drop in your big ball bearing. Okay, now drop in your smaller ball bearing on that hole on the side. Like that. I'll put my, fun my finger over that. This. Now I hold that down like that. It reveals the channel for this. For that snap ring. That small little ring that pretty much holds this all together. And you get that around until it clicks in like that. And now you should be good to go. And that's how that works. So yeah. So that's the teardown of this Quinn extendable breaker bar from Harbor Freight. And if you were interested in getting this, I would suggest uh, going now, which they have a pretty good coupon, $10 off. And you can pick this up for 20 bucks. Okay, guys, until next time.